Good day everyone! So for today's video, we're going to have the third leg of the operations on functions and that is the multiplication of functions. And in multiplying functions, again, we are required to have two functions or at least two functions. In this, uh, in this case, we have f and g. And then if we are to look for its product, f times g of x, then we have f of x times g of x. Next. So let us illustrate that using an example. So let's um, let's uh, let us have f of x equals seven x and g of x equals two x squared plus five x minus eight. And then we are to look for f times g of x. So just like what uh, just like what is stated on the definition, since na on si f. So that would be our multiplicand and g would be our multiplier. So we have f times g of x. Okay? So in dealing with this one, we, we first copy what is f of x. Please do not forget to put parentheses to both functions. And then we multiply it with g of x. And that would be 2x squared plus 5x minus 8. Okay, and then to find its product, what we're going to do is to multiply 7x to all terms inside D or to all terms of G of X. Okay, and this will require us to apply the, the laws of exponents, especially the, uh, the product rule. Okay, so first is that we have 7x, so we have 7x multiplied by 2x squared, okay? And that would be, that would be 7 times 2, that is 14, and then we multiply its, uh, uh, we multiply the variables x and x squared. So according to the law of exponent, if we have x multiplied by x squared, what we're going to do is just to copy the base and uh, their exponent. So, dito kay x meron siyang exponent na 1. So, that would become that would become x raised to 1 plus 2 and that is x raised to 3. Okay? So, that is according to our law of exponents. So, if we are going to multiply or we are going to multiply x and x squared, that is x cubed. Hence, 7x times 2x squared, that would be 14x cubed. And then, um, after that, we multiply 7x with that of positive 5x. So, we first multiply the numerical coefficient, that is 7, times positive 5, that is positive 35. And then, we multiply x with that of x. So, uh, using the, uh, what do you call that? Using the product rule, that is x times x. Since we know that kx meron siyang exponent na 1, that is actually equal to x raised to 1 plus 1 or x raised to 2 or x squared. Since x times x would be x squared. Sorry? That would be x squared. Okay? So if we multiply 7x with that of positive 5x, that is positive 35x squared. And lastly, we have 7x. We have 7x multiplied by negative 8. We first multiply the numerical coefficients. That's 7 times negative 8. That's negative 56. And since 7x lang po may variable, then we copy the variable. Hence, if we are to look for the product of f of x and g of x, then the resulting uh, function would be 14x cubed plus 35x squared minus 56x. Alright? So next, let's proceed with the next example. Let's say f of x equals 3x minus 6 and g of x equals 5x minus 8. We have to find for f plus g of x. So na na po ulit si f. So that would become our multipli multiplicand. So we have f of x times g of x. So we first copy uh, f of x since siya yung nauna. So that is, put it in the parenthesis, 3x minus 6. And then, 
we have to multiply with g of x that is 5x minus 8. And what we're going to do is to multiply, uh, not just uh, making it uh, this just a single term. No, that's a big no-no. What we're going to do is to multiply each term to the terms on the multiplier. Okay, so that is 3x, you multiply k 5x, and so with 3x k negative 8. More so, si negative 6, you multiply din k 5x, at saka kay negative 8. Okay? But then again, uh, we can use or we can apply the knowledge that we have learned from the junior high school, and we can use the FOIL method if we want. When we say FOIL method, we first multiply the first terms, followed by the outer terms, followed by the inner, and then we have the last terms. Okay, so if we multiply this one, we have 3x, okay, Burahin ko lang. we have 3x times 5x, so that is 3 times 5, that's 15, then x times x, that is x squared. So we are multiplying them, ha? we are not adding or subtracting them, that is why we are adding their exponents. Next is that we have 3x, times negative 8, so that is 3 times negative 8, that's negative 24, and then since siya lang yung may variable, then we just copy the variable x. And then let's proceed with the next one, that's negative 6 times 5x, that is negative 6 times 5, that's negative 30, and then since siya lang yung may variable, we just copy the variable x. And then lastly, we proceed with negative 6 times negative 8, that's negative times negative, that's positive. And then 6 times 8, that is 48. Okay? And then after this one, we what? We simplify. Okay? We simplify since si 15x squared, uh, siya lang yung x squared na term. So, we leave 15x squared as it is. And then, we simplify negative 24x minus 30x. So, that is simply saying negative 24 minus 30. So, that is, that is negative 54. And then, we copy the variable x since we are just subtracting them. Lastly, we copy positive 48 because that is the only constant. So, we have positive 48. So, if we are looking for the product of f of x and g of x, then the resulting function would be 15x squared minus 54x plus 40. Okay? And that is the way we multiply two binomials. Okay? But then, it would be too tiresome if we are dealing with polynomial functions. Um, there are a lot of terms, and then we are to multiply it one by one. But there is a more organized way on how are we going to multiply them. And that is through using the what we so-called Punnett square. Okay? So, paano po gamitin si Punnett square in multiplying functions? So, let us have an example. So, let f of x be equal to 3x squared minus 7x plus 4 and g of x equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 8. And then, we are to find for f times g of x. So, kung gagawin natin yung ginawa natin kanina, that is f of x times g of x. Uh, this is multiplication. g of x. So, that would be, that would be uh, 3x squared minus 7x plus 4, we are to multiply it with 2x squared plus 5x minus 8. So, kung gagawin natin yung ginawa natin kanina, one by one, we are to multiply 3x squared with this one, with this one, and then with this one. And then after that, we proceed with the next term, with that, and then with that. And lastly, we proceed with this, with this, and then with this. So, medyo nakakalito siya. So, the Punnett square... It's a good um it's a good a uh, um technique to to be uh for it to be more organized. So in a way, we first uh, copy f of x, so that is three x squared, and then we separate it using a line, and that uh, followed by the next term that is negative seven x. So we have negative seven x, and then again we separate it with a line. And then we, we proceed with the last term, that's positive 4. So, kasama po yung sign, positive 4. So, that would be our first row. So, using the Punnett square, si g of x natin, we are to rewrite it 
vertically. So, we have down here si 2x squared. Nandito si 2x squared. And then, the next term would be sa baba niya. That would be positive 5x. So, we have positive 5x. And lastly, we have negative 8. So, we have negative 8. Okay? So, it is more organized than uh, the previous method. So, we, we, we may now proceed with the multiplication. That is 2x squared times 3x squared. That's 2 times 3. That's 6. And then x squared times x squared, which is um, other exponents. So, that is 6x to the fourth. And then, we proceed with 2x squared times negative 7x. So, that would be 2 times negative 7. That's negative 14. And then, x squared times x. So, that would be x cubed. Next is that we have 2x squared times positive 4. Or simply, we have 2 times 4. That's positive 8. And then, we just copy the variable x squared. And then, we proceed with the next line. Or, we, we proceed with the next row. That is positive 5x times 3x squared, so that is positive 15x cubed. And next, we have positive 5x times negative 7x, so that is 7, uh, negative 7 times positive 5, that's negative 35. And then we have x times x, so that would be x squared. And last, we have positive 5x times positive 4, so that is positive 20x. And then we proceed with the last row, that's negative 8 times positive 3x squared, so simply saying 3 times negative 8, that's negative 24x squared. Okay? Next, we have negative 8 times negative 7x, so that is positive 56, or yeah, that is positive, uh, positive 56x. And then, lastly, we have negative 8 times positive 4, that is negative 30. Okay, so how are we going to simplify this one? So the first box, or the first intersection, would be our first term. So that would be 6x to the fourth, followed by the first diagonal, that would be our second term. And then you are to combine it. So that is positive, uh, positive 15x cubed plus negative 14x cubed. So simply saying 15 minus 4, or 15 plus negative 14, that is actually 1. And then we copy the... Um, the variable. So that is positive x cubed. And next, we have negative 24x squared plus negative 35x squared. That is negative 59x squared plus 8x squared. So that is negative 51x squared. And next, we have positive 56x plus uh, positive 20x. That is positive 76x. And lastly, the last uh, intersection, that will be negative 32. Hence, if we are to look for the product of f of x and g of x, so that would be 6x to the 4th plus x cubed minus 51x plus 76x, uh, minus 51x squared, sorry, plus 76x minus 32. So that's how we multiply functions.